as he's chapter number four nouns so now all of you know what a noun is noun is a naming word or you can say noun is a name of a person an animal or a place or a thing and there are five kinds of nouns proper nouns material noun common noun abstract noun collective nouns so watch the video everything i have made it very clear each and every point i have tried to explain you thoroughly okay so once you have watched the video then you can start tagging your sizes so i have taught you that proper noun is the name of a particular person or a place or a thing and proper noun include people name names of months names of days of week names of building places countries towns capitals oceans lakes rivers seas mountains so once you have watched the video my child you will face no problem okay it's simply a revision here um, so you can see all the names persons names places or buildings and oceans and festivals and natives and months and it begins with the capital letter always start the proper noun with the capital letter and what is the common noun is the new common name given to every member of a class or a kind okay what is the collective noun now collective nouns collective noun is the name of a group of person or things taken together as a whole this i have explained in the video also okay so you can go through the video and then make it very easy for yourself to understand the topic you go through all these collective nouns then material noun is the name of a material of which the thing is made kindly make sure that material noun is the name of a material of which a thing is made of which the thing is made that is your material noun and it refers to a substance which may be a liquid solid or a gas and it is always singular okay now abstract noun abstract noun is the name for quality an action or a state we cannot touch or see them but we can experience it okay these are all your abstract noun how you will form abstract noun this i have also taught you in video so just have a glance here that we can form abstract noun with the help of some common suffixes means you will add few words few alphabets to a word and in this way you'll frame an abstract noun so just see the word is busy and make sure that there will be some slight spelling also change in you will just slightly change the spelling too the word is busy just remove y add i and then add any double s it will become business sad any double s sadness blind if i ask you to just form the abstract noun so if i give you this word so you should know that you have to add a suffix so by adding a suffix you can change this word into business adding a suffix to sad you can change it into sadness blind blindness kind kindness fool foolish foolish foolishness calm calmness great greatness weak weakness peace weakness so in this way by adding suffix you can change a word into an abstract noun suppose you are adding a suffix age so in this way short shortage carry carriage pass passage waste wastage marry marriage break breakage we are adding a suffix ment then the word is enjoy enjoyment pay payment treat treatment content contentment punish punishment appoint appointment if the suffix said hood ajmlod false false hood man manhood boy boyhood woman womanhood brother brotherhood child childhood so in this way we will form the abstract noun for the given words suppose the suffix is th then the word is deep depth grow growth young youth wide width long length broad breadth true truth die death strong strength heal health where birth then shun T I U N. If you are adding the suffix, then destroy, destruction, protect, protection, introduce, introduction, create, creation, invite, invitation, celebrate, celebration, educate, education, act, action. 
So in this way, if the suffix S I U N change in abstract form, I T Y change in, in such way, E N C right. In this way, you can change the word into an abstract noun. See here, obey if you are doing E N C, obey obedience, emergence, absent, absence. If the suffix is C Y, then equal, equality, very variety. In this way, you can change. If the suffix is ship, then friend word is friend, friendship, relative, relationship, and apart from it, there are few others. You can see the this word, way, wait, lie, lie, believe, believe. So kindly, just go through it. Now you check your exercise, exercise 4.1. Look at the picture. And complete the list given by by finding seven more common nouns in the picture. So the picture is here. Okay, you have to just see for the common words and write it here. Common nouns, write the words. What it? See exercise four point two. Sort the following common nouns into groups under the headings. In this way, you just sort out the common nouns. Five common nouns associated with each heading. So just write down for the heading in the form what you see for the sea for the city. Just write down. Now fill in the blank with appropriate proper nouns. Proper nouns are here. You have to fill in the blanks over here. Okay. Then these are the these are all the sentences and the words are given here. All the proper nouns are here. You just select the proper noun from here and just insert into the sentence. Exercise 4.5. Pick out the nouns in the following sentence and tell the kind of it. You have to tell the kind also. So just pick up first. You have to pick up the noun. Greenness, godliness. These are all the nouns. Both of them are the nouns. Then what kind of noun it is? It is abstract. So write down. You write down cleanliness, abstract noun. God, godliness, abstract noun. Same here. Okay. First pick out a noun and then write the kind of. I think this thing is clear. So just go to the video. Or if you have watched the video for each and every topic, then come and do the size. You will feel so it's so easy. You know it. But don't try to mug up the sentence because it is of no use. See, fill in the blank with common nouns. You have to fill the blank with common nouns. Fill the fill the blank. And then you have to circle the odd one and tell its kind. Means there are group of nouns over here. Now you have to find out which noun is odd. Means these are all your abstract noun, and child is your common noun. So this is the odd one here, na? So you have to pick up, circle it, and then tell what kind it. Yeah, this one is the common noun. Okay, so this we just find out the odd one and write what kind of noun it is. Is it clear? Now exercise four point eight. You have to unscramble the words in bracket and fill in the blank with material noun. So you just the words are given. You have to unscramble them and write the correct word. Got it? Now. You have to fill with appropriate nouns. Fill it up. Right now, you have to complete each phrase choosing a suitable collected noun from the. You have to just complete the phrase and add dash or players. So you all these words are given here. These are all your collected nouns. You have to pick up the collected noun from here and insert it. Okay. Okay. I hope so. This is clear. Exercise 4.1, 4.11. Sorry, fill in the blank with the abstract noun. So fill in the blank with the abstract noun. Word is given here. You have to fill it up with that. So the, if the word is judge, so you have to just change it into an abstract noun. It will become judgment. You can see a judge, but you cannot see the judgment. You can feel, na. No? So you have to change the given word into abstract noun. I 
I hope so. All these sentences appear to you. Now, you have to fill in the blank with the abstract now. What is given? The quality of being strong is called strength. The quality of being honest is called honesty. The quality of being beautiful is called beauty. The quality of being true is called truth. The quality of being wise is called wisdom. The state of poor is called poverty. The state of being young is called youth. The state of being happy is called happiness. The state of being free is called freedom. The state of being equal is called equality. The act of departing is called departure. The act of arriving is called arrival. The act of migrating is called migration. The act of moving is called movement. The act of laughing is called laughter. So in this way, also you can get, so you should know how to change. Exercise 4.13. You have to match the abstract noun in column A with the opposites in column B, right? You have to match column A with column B. Now, these are the opposite words, right? So, you match them. So, I hope you will face no problems after going through the video and all these exercises. The topic will be very clear.